Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to our living room. It is a typical winter day today, at least for us here. The weather honestly doesn't know what it wants. The forecast already predicted an entire day of rain, but when I got up in the morning, I was like, well, actually it looks quite all right. So I took Alfie out for a walk and I thought, well, we're not going to the beach. We just go on the dike here just in front of the house. And after 10 minutes, skies open, it started pouring down. And I was like, okay, I looked at Alfie, Alfie looked back at me and we were like, no, we're not having it. Let's just go back home, make it cozy on the inside, lit some candles. And that's exactly what we did. I arrived home, I blow dried Alfie. So she's like looking all fluffy and cute again. And then the rain stopped and I was like, well, maybe I should just get ready for the garden, go out. And after two minutes in the garden, it started raining again. So I did that routine like three times, three attempts of going to the garden, but no, I'm like, no, I'm not having it. I'm really gonna stay inside and do something completely different with you. And you might already see what's poking over my shoulder here, which is well, you already see, still see like this beautiful uh, topper that we did here for the fireplace. I hope you like it as much as I do. I'm really happy with that. But today's video is about decorating the Christmas tree. So it is a day where I'm finally going to decorate my Christmas tree. So excited about it. Found a really nice one. And this is a Caucasian fir. So this is the exact same tree that I have on the outside. Only difference is the one on the outside is in a pot because I attempt on potting it on and hopefully it makes it through summer and will be the Christmas tree outside for next year again. This one here is not that it's chopped, so this is in its stand and it's really wonky if you look at it. But I just put it in there um, because the first thing I need to do is get in there with a light chain and put the lights on. And after that, it's gonna be wonky anyways. So this is the first thing I'm gonna do and then I can start decorating. And when it comes to the decorating, I'm so happy and excited with all the beautiful things that I found this year because I told you already on a couple of occasions in my previous videos that I changed the entire color concept for my Christmas decorating this year. So far, I was only using like red, gold and green, kind of like traditional classic Christmas colors, at least for me. But this year, I wasn't feeling it. I really wanted to change the colors and also materials and make it look a little more cohesive with the house because the house you might see in the back, everything is kind of like, white, beige, hints of black here and there. So this is kind of like the entire color concept that we've going on here. We also get a little bit of blue, like this nautical knot going on because we're so close to the Baltic. See, I'm not gonna do blue Christmas ornaments though this year, even though I think it could be nice. White and blue could also be quite a nice color scheme for a Christmas tree with a little bit of silver in it, beautiful. But I have something completely different. And I had my day of going out and hunting for Christmas ornaments. And it was a long, long day of, I think seven or eight hours. And it started off really lukewarm that day. I went to all of the like furniture shops first and home decor shops and couldn't find a thing. Went to hardware stores and then in the end, by the end of the day, I was like, okay, there's still this one shopping center on my way back home with a French hardware store and a French supermarket. So let's just go there. So I found a little bit in the hardware store and I was like, okay. Went out in the hardware store and the weather was quite terrible. It was really pouring down again that day. And it was like, oh, do we really feel it? Do we really want to go to the supermarket and check what they have? Because at that point I was tired. I was a little packaged, but I'm happy I did. Thank God to the French. They saved my Christmas decoration this year. That supermarket is called Auchan. It's a big chain. They really saved me. They had exactly what I was looking for, exactly the colors, exactly the materials, the entire vibe, everything. Like already the white pine cones that I was using for my Christmas tree at the main entrance, they were also from the same supermarket. And a lot of the things that I'm gonna show you in a second, I found in there, so I'm really excited about that. So what I wanna do in today's video is I'm gonna flip the phone first in a second, and then I will just talk you through all of these beautiful things that I found, just explaining the colors and the materials and why I'm using them. I'm gonna show you the tree again and when I'm decorating, I have one tradition. So uh, when you see me decorating, and I might not be focused so much on the tree, is because I always watch a movie every single year over and over again, which is Home Alone. I absolutely love it because this is my Christmas movie of my generation. As a child, my parents took me to cinema, uh, to both of them actually, like part one and two. I'm going to watch part one today though because this is like my tradition. So I love the movie and I can't wait for Catherine O'Hara to scream, Kevin! So hope you're excited about today's video and i hope that you will also like the outcome on how christmasy everything is going to look by the end of the day i want to give you like a little tour when it's dark outside and everything is like lit up with candles and fairy lights and yeah i hope it's going to be beautiful 
So this is what I have on a glance. I think you can already tell quite well what my color concept is for this year. I'm really focusing on all natural kind of tones. So like coppery, bronze, uh, really pine cone colors basically. And then mix it with hints of white and creamy white. And I'm really happy with how everything is looking already on the table. So what I wanna do is just quickly talk you through bit by bit. First things I'm gonna show you, actually the very first things that I found. So I found these ornaments made of real glass. I have a couple boxes of them. And I really love the shape of them. They're quite long if you see it. And they have this kind of like pattern in there with a little bit of glitter on the top. So I think this is just really nice and beautiful. If I move forward, this is actually what I found in the French supermarket. And this is what excited me pretty much the most. Because these are made of all natural materials, kind of like pine cones and wood chips. Absolutely beautiful, but they still have this hint of glitter on them, which I think gives it a Christmassy knot to them. Because if it was just a pine cone, it might look a little too dead maybe, but like this, they're gonna reflect the light, like the glitter on these, the glitter on the pine uh, ornaments, they're all gonna reflect the light in the Christmas tree. I think it's gonna be so beautiful. Then I got paper stars, so the paper stars also kind of like using paper as a natural material. There's no glitter or nothing on them, but I think just because they're white, they're gonna lit it up anyway, so I think this is going to be beautiful. So what else do I have? I've got some really classic traditional ones. So just plain white ones in this like mother of pearl color, but I think they're also going to be really elegant and beautiful in there. So if we move forward here, I've got some pine cones. So this is actually what I prepared. I put some metal twine around it. Hope you can see it. So there are two strings on each side one. So what I can do is just put it on top of a branch and give the illusion that the tree has actual pine cones, even though yes, I know that a Caucasian fir would not produce pines looking like this, but it's Christmas, so you can just make it happen. Then I got some beautiful white birds, just a couple of them, just to put in on some of the branches. I really love to use the birds. Then I have some more wood ornaments. They're quite old actually, I bought them a couple of years ago. I really like that you see the rind and everything, they're quite rustic. It's kind of like, a, I don't know, reindeer or elk. What do you think, what is it? I say it's an elk actually, but maybe it's a reindeer. Maybe I say it's an elk because we actually, I think a couple of weeks ago they said in the news here that an elk was seen in our area. So I was like, oh my God, I'm not sure if I wanna to go to the forest now with an elk there, but let's see. Then this is my new tree topper. Love this star, I love the shape of it, geometric pattern. I think this is going to be really nice. Makes it kind of modern in a way as well. Next thing is something that I actually bought last year already. So um, once a year, well, maybe more often, I try and go back home to my hometown in Northern Germany. And there's one store that is there for ages, but I always go and then try to buy something just to support them. So last year I found these Christmas ornaments and I already switched it on for you. So they have a little switch on the top here and then they have the lights inside. So beautiful, I think that they're going to be really special and beautiful in there. So I've got like three of these like drop shapes and three of these uh, pine cones as well, absolutely pretty. Next thing are very exciting ones because I love that they combine the entire color concept in one ornament. So I got the white and I got the coppery tone and there's this fine line of glitter in there as well. And you can see the white part is actually painted, it's like hand painted on there. Well, I think that makes it also nice because it really feels like a little crafty, homemade, self-made. I just love that things are not looking so picture perfect in a way. I think this is just really special about those. Then I got an entire flat of the, those here. So they're kind of like a mixture of like gold with a little like coppery undertone, I think. Um, mainly, I think they're going to be nice to reflect the light, I guess. And then just like four boxes, very traditional ones, just a little bigger ones, real glass ones again, kind of like an all copper and bronze tones. And then I got my light chain. So I bought a new light chain, exactly the same one that I was using on the outside for some of the trees already. This swarm light, really beautiful color, kind of like a little pinkish in a way. And you can see the length already, almost 100 meters. So I try and get in almost 100 meters of light chain into that tree. And the reason for it is I always buy light chains and then I feel like, well, it's gonna be enough and then it's never enough. And at one point I ended up like trying to get five different light chains in the tree and this year I was like, I'm not having this. I wanna put like one light chain in there which is gonna be long and work and I think that this is gonna be perfect and I know it's the same color as on the outside which I also like because when you go from the outside to the inside, you have the exact same lights and I think that this is just gonna be nice and cohesive. I, as you might've recognized, I like cohesion when it comes to decoration. So yeah, he already prepared my little table with a laptop where I'm gonna watch Home Alone in a second, and the vase, just some pine 
uh, cuttings in there. I still need to go out tonight and find some nice flowers and it's sometimes really difficult to find nice flowers here. I love white amaryllis, especially for Christmas time, and I never found them here. I tried again tonight, fingers crossed, please, just once, but I think next year I'm just going to cave in and grow amaryllis on my own and just put a pot there then. But yeah, this is just like what I really would love to have. This is the tree, as I said, still wonky, but I'm just loving it. I think it has the perfect shape. I just love these like really long, where's my finger? long branches on the top here because they really give the opportunity to hang nice ornaments and um, things are not like mushed in so much. I think it's really beautiful. And what I found, which makes me especially happy, is finally I found a tree skirt that I like. Because I remember in the States, everybody always has a beautiful tree skirt. And here, it was never really a thing. And when you could find them, they were always tacky. So I'm really happy about this one because I think it just fits perfectly into our interior. Um, has this not too country living and everything. So very happy about it. Again, I bought that in the French supermarket. So yeah, that was definitely the best, best shopping trip ever when it came down to Christmas. Just quickly, just a few words about the Caucasian fur. So this is for me, as I said already in one of my previous videos, a very traditional Christmas tree. And if you look at it, the underside of the needles kind of have this like silvery, whitish, bluish tone to them. But then the top side, which gives a predominant color, of course, is this true Christmas green for me. Quite rich and lush, beautiful color. And you can see I can just like touch it like this. They're not prickly, not spiky or anything, which also makes it really nice to decorate and to have a Christmas tree like this. It also smells nice. Like the second I put it up, the house is already filled with the scent of the tree, which is also so lovely. So what I'm going to do now is just, well, First of all, I'm going to watch my movie, of course, but I'm also going to get in there with my light chain, start decorating, get in front of a camera, put some music under it for you guys so you don't need to listen to me watching Home Alone. And what I intend on doing then in the evening is to show you how everything looks in the evening. Oh. I've made it and I couldn't be happier. I think it looks super nice already, really nice, warm and cozy. And to be fair, when I walked you through all of the ornaments, when they were lined up on the dinner table, I had a second where I thought, maybe I don't have enough of the white ones. But now seeing how it all works on the tree, I'm happy that I don't have more because the white really pops out and otherwise it would be too overpowering. And I feel now the balance is quite right between like these copper bronze tones and the white. And I just love all these like textures. There are some things that are like glitz, some like the paper stars that are just like the white that really shines out and also the lights. Super nice, exactly what I love. This really lovely warm tone. It kind of works so well with these copper tones of the Christmas ornaments. The only thing that kind of bugs me now a little bit is like if I just show you the garland again, the colors are so different on the fairy lights. 
I wish they were warmer. So this is something for next year, maybe even for this year. If I find fairy lights that have a color tone like this, I'm definitely gonna buy them because this is what I love and I think this is just so warm and perfect and has kind of the color of like candles. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit town because I wanna buy some fresh flowers for the vase, do some grocery shopping. I've already prepared the fireplace, so at night, I wanna give you an entire tour when it's dark outside and show you how the entire decoration looks, put candles here and there. I'm gonna put a fire in the fireplace, wanna do some close-ups of the tree of the single ornaments, how they work together, maybe put some photos in there. I'm not gonna do a voiceover with that, I'm just gonna put some Christmassy music under that. So all I can say now is thank you so much for watching today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. And I wish you all a very, very happy Christmas, Christmas time. I hope you enjoy these days before Christmas. And I would really love to welcome you in one of my future videos. Until then, take care. Bye.